Good day! Our lesson for today is domain and range of inverse functions. In this video, students will be able to, number one, define domain and range. Number two, find the domain and range of inverse function and represent the domain and range using set builder notation. What is domain? The domain is set of all x values. How about what is range? The range is the set of all y values. They have a properties in identifying the domain and range of inverse functions. If the inverse of the function exists, then the inverse is 1 to 1. Number 2, the domain of inverse is the range of a function. So, ibig sabihin, yung dating range ni function ay magiging domain ni inverse. Number 3, the range of the inverse function is domain of, of the function. So, yung dating domain ni function ay magiging range ni inverse function. So, let us have an example. The given function is 3x plus 2. So, the value of x of the given function is negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. Then, the y values of the given function is negative 4, negative 1, 2, and 5. So, meaning the x values will be our domain. And the y values is our range. And then if you can see, the inverse of the given function is x minus 2 over 3. Kung mapapansin, the x values of our inverse function is negative 4, negative 1, positive 2, and 5 na dating range ni function. While our y values is negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1, yung dating domain ni function. That's why that will be the inverse of 1 to 1 function. Let us have an example. Find the inverse function and domain and range of f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Our function again is 2x plus 3. First, we need to find what is our domain. If you can see, our given function is a sample of linear equation. Bakit daw? Because the Degree of our function is 1. So, meaning this is a linear equation. Kapag ganito ang ating given function, automatic, the domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers. So, meaning lahat ng possible value ng x ay pwede. While the range is The set of y values such that y, the set of all real numbers. That will be the domain and range of the given function. How about its inverse? First, kunin mo natin yung inverse function niya. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So, yung dating f of x, gawin natin siyang y is equal to 2x plus 3. 3. Interchange. Yung dating y magiging x. Yung dating x magiging y plus 3. Then after that, combine with, with your x. So x, yung dating positive 3 ay magiging negative 3 is equal to 2y. Then divide both sides by 2. Then cancel, cancel. So natira na lang is y is equal to x minus 3 over to and then rewrite into inverse function. That's why the inverse function is equal to x minus 3 over 2. So that will be the answer. How about the domain? Sabi daw, pag kumukuha ng domain ng inverse function, yung dating range ay magiging domain ng inverse function. So, meaning the set of 
x value such that x is the set of all real numbers, while the range is yung dati namang domain ni function. So, which is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. That will be the domain and range of given function on its inverse. Another example, find the inverse function and domain and range of f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 2. What have you observed in our given function? It is a radicand. So, kapag ganito yan, so what we're going to do to find the domain? Sa pagkuha ng domain ng may radical sign, so which is magkakaroon tayo dito ng restriction, which is greater than or equal to zero. So, meaning, x plus 2 is greater than or equal to zero para magkaroon tayo ng restriction. Then, after that, x is greater than or equal to from positive will become to negative 2. So, meaning, our domain now is the set of x values such that x is greater than or equal to negative 2. How about range? Ang range naman natin dito, kung mapapansin nyo, our radical, yung nasa labas is a positive. So, meaning, kung positive yan, so our range is the set of y values such that y is greater than or equal to 0. How about to find the inverse function? f of x is equal to square root of x plus 2. So again, from f of x, we'll change into y is equal to square root of x plus 2. Then after that, interchange from y to x is equal to square root of y plus 2. And then after that, multiply both sides by 2. So cancel, cancel. So that will become x squared is equal to y plus 2. Then after that, combine x squared from positive will become to negative 2 is equal to y. Then rewrite this into inverse function. Inverse function is equal to x squared minus 2. So what will be the domain? The domain is yung dating range magiging the set of x values which is x is greater than or equal to 0. While the range is the set of y values y is greater than or equal to negative 2. For example, find the inverse function and domain and range of f of x is equal to x squared minus 1. Again, if you can see our function is a quadratic equation. So, dahil quadratic equation to, ang values ng x nito is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, dahil hindi siya one-to-one -one function, so magkakaroon tayo ng restriction, which is x is greater than or equal to 0. So, meaning, our domain is the set of x value such that x is greater than or equal to 0. Next, how about the range? So, sa pagkuha ng range, kunin muna natin yung domain ng inverse function. So, again, get the inverse. So, dating f of x will change into y is equal to x squared minus 1. Then, interchange. So, dating y magiging x is equal to yung x that magiging y squared minus 1. 
1. Then after that, combine. So, x from negative will change into positive 1 is equal to y squared. Again, get radical both side. So, cancel, cancel. So, natira na lang is y is equal to square root of x plus 1. So, and then, rewrite into inverse function is equal to square root of x plus 1. So, ngayon, kukunin na natin yung domain ng ating inverse function. So, again, magkakaroon tayo uli ng restriction which is x is greater than or equal to 0. So, dito, magkakaroon ng x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Then, x is greater than or equal to from positive magiging negative 1. So, meaning, our domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So, now, how about the range? Sabi natin, yung range ng inverse function ay yung dating domain ng function. So, which is the set of y values such that y is greater than or equal to 0. How about the range of the function? Yung dating domain naman ni inverse. So, magiging the set of y values such that y is greater than or equal to negative 1. That will be the inverse of the domain and the range of the function. For example, find the inverse function and domain and range of f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. Sa pagkuha ng domain, we need to find the zeros of our denominator para malaman natin anong value ng x na pwedeng kapag sinabstitute mo ay magiging zero yung denominator. So, paano daw? So, x minus 3 is not equal to zero. So, x is not equal to from negative will become to positive 3. So, meaning positive 3 ang value ng x na kapag sinubstitute mo ay pwedeng maging 0 si denominator. So, it means our x values or our domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers except x is not equal to 3. How about the range? Sa pagkuha naman ng range, alamin mo natin yung domain ni inverse function. So, y, f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. So, yung dating f of x, magiging y is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. Interchange, x is equal to y plus 2 over y minus 3. 3 and then apply cross multiplication. So, magiging y plus 2 is equal to x times y minus 3. Next, y plus 2 is equal to x times y is xy. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Then, combine. Pagsamayin natin yung may mga y values. So, bring down xy. Yung dating positive y ay magiging negative y. So, yung dating negative 3x ay magiging positive 3x plus 2. Then, labas natin si y or y. xy divided by y is x. Then, negative y divided by y is negative 1. So, 3x plus 2. Then, divide both sides by x minus 1. So, cancel, cancel. Ano na natira? y is equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. Then, after that, rewrite in inverse function. So, y 3x 
plus 2 over x minus 1. This is the, uh, the inverse of the given function. So, paano daw kukunin si domain? Again, sa pagkuha ng domain, alamin natin ano ang magiging 0 or magiging value ni x na kapag sinubstitute ay pwede maging 0 si denominator. x minus 1 is not equal to 0. That's why x is not equal to from negative 1 magiging positive 1. So, meaning our domain is the set of x values such that x is the set of all real numbers except x is not equal to positive 1. How about the range? So, yung magiging range ng ating function ay yung domain ng inverse. So, meaning the range is the set of y values such that y is a set of all real numbers except y is not equal to positive 1. How about the range of the inverse function? Yung dating domain naman ni function which is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers except y is not equal to positive 3. That will be the domain and range of its inverse function. Tandaan lagi, yung dating domain ni function ay magiging range ni inverse function. Yung dating range ni, ni function ay magiging domain ni inverse function. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.